let's bring our event-driven application stack towards Azure Spring Apps. Welcome to the third episode of Java on Azure Quick Start. Today, everything is going to be around event-driven application stacks, and we're gonna bring it to Azure Spring Apps and Azure Service Bus only using Azure Click command. Wait a second, does that even make sense? I mean, event-driven application stacks, Azure Spring Apps. Well, with a dedicated consumption plan, we run on Azure Container Apps under the hood, you know, this super easy lightweight thing that will scale up and down and even scale down to zero based on your traffic and load. How wonderful is that? I guess that should be a perfect fit. Please follow me along. Here's the quick starts link. We're gonna start with cloning the repository from GitHub. Here's the example repository on Azure Samples. I will then CD into the folder and run my Maven clean package command to retrieve the jar file. After that, we're gonna prepare the cloud environment. So let's set some environment variables. That way, all the other commands will be a lot more easy. But to make it very easy, I usually put them all in a .n file. But remember to put that into a git ignore because in no way you want to see those environment variables in your source control, right? After we accomplished this, let's now make sure we have all the necessary extensions installed and the namespaces registered. Maybe you have used one of those extensions before, but I always rerun those steps before I use Azure Container Apps or Azure Spring Apps because those two technologies are evolving so quickly. So I want to make sure I'm on the newest version and I also want to avoid any version conflicts. Perfect, so let's jump in creating the resources on Azure. First, let's create the resource group. Always put together what belongs together. This way you can easily share it when it's wonderful with your colleagues and coworkers. And also it makes it very handy to delete afterwards. Then I want to configure this resource group as my default. Great, next step, let's create my Azure Container Apps environment and also my Azure Spring Apps instance. I run the AZ Container App and create command to create my Container Apps environment. Then I will need my managed and resource ID because I want to set a workload profile set. And then I can easily create my Spring App cluster and give it the workload profile as well. So what's missing is my service bus. So let's create now the, the namespace with the two queues. I will use the AZ service bus namespace create and also queue create commands for this. As I now have both required services, so the Azure Spring Apps instance as well as the service bus, let's connect those two. So first of all, let's retrieve the connection string and save that as another environment variable. And now I can update my Azure Spring Apps cluster. So now I have everything registered and connected. Now I can deploy my jar file easily with the az spring app deploy command. Oh, I'm already on version two. So let's take the second snapshot. And that's how easily I deployed the whole thing. So as a recap, I now have service bus with my two message queues and also my event-driven app running on Azure Spring apps, you know, Azure container apps under the hood, getting the messages as it is subscribed to the lowercase one and then publishes the ones transformed to the uppercase queue. Why not? put some traffic on it, right? So I would just go into the portal and then send some messages to it. Great, and now I can also see some monitoring. So everything works fine. Congratulations, we successfully deployed the whole end-to-end -end event driven scenario on Azure Spring Apps using Azure Container Apps under the hood and Azure Service Pass for our messaging queues. How does it rent for you? Please, please, please write in the comments. Here's the reminder, the quick starts link. Like and subscribe and see you next time.